What's going on everybody? As always, it's a blessing to be here. You're here with UL Exchange. I'm the Crypto Caressa, the Forex Finessa, and the Stock Successor. By that being said, today's video will be on XRP getting clarity soon, or when are they gonna get any clarity anytime? Or will it even take years to come? So we'll be taking a look at this video, take a look at the article, also take a look at the technical analysis aspect of it. But before we even start the video, if you guys are new to this channel or recurring viewers and you still have not hit the subscription, then I urge you guys to subscribe to this channel with the bell notification so you can be notified every single time I post information packed videos, just like the one you're watching right now. Also, share this video with your family, friends, anybody, so we can keep going up and elevating so we can be financially thriving, financially successful, instead of just financially stable. So by that being said, let's get right into this video after this beautiful intro. Four X, four X, everything is four X. <laughs> So first things first, as always, we're taking a look at the whole cryptocurrency market cap in general. It's currently sitting at two trillion forty-three billion. We have lost around ten or twelve billion dollars in the total market cap supply. And twenty-four hour volume is sixty-eight billion. It has came down drastically. I'm not gonna say it's you know it's hovering, it has came down about thirty percent or it has came down about thirty billion dollars. But the Bitcoin dominance, Ethereum hovering the same, Ethereum gas fees. Yeah, we'll just get over that one. But today we're talking about the biggest and best crypto ever. It's the number eight right now. It only has seven more to go to hit the number one. It's currently sitting at 76 cents. It's XRP, 2% down for the 24 hour period and 4.68% up for the seven day period. And the whole market cap is sitting at $36 billion. So let's get straight into the article first. I'll also show you guys a little clip from Legal Briefs and what he thought and how long did he say it would take because he's a great person to his community and he makes it easily understandable when he breaks down the paper trail of the lawsuit is speaking about how lawyers speak and breaks it down in a simpler format. So by that being said, first let's check out the article. So Bitcoin looking great, but XRP may soon take the spotlight, says crypto top analyst. Okay, let's figure out what they're talking about. So closely followed crypto analyst says that XRP may be ready to steal the show after holding strong macro support during the latest market-wide pullback. So as you guys know, when the whole cryptocurrency was pulling back, the lowest XRP went to was about 67 or 75 cents, if I'm not mistaken. We'll take a look at the article. So during the market pullback and retracement that the whole cryptocurrency had, specifically following Bitcoin, XRP pulled back to 65 cents, as I have said. And nothing more has been holding off the support very strong. And that's the reason it's seen as a different lane. Even though it follows Bitcoin to a certain extent, I made a full video on how all these cryptocurrencies were following Bitcoin, but XRP followed Bitcoin to a certain extent and held off the strongest level. And it's not always influenced by Bitcoin. But continuing on, the pseudonymous strategist known as Credible Bull tells his 295,000 followers that Bitcoin looks great and won't face any real test until the 45000 mark, which is about $3,000 above Bitcoin's current price. And now let's quickly check out Bitcoin technical analysis. So as you guys can see, it said 45000 and above. So what do I see? Let's scroll a little bit over here. So 45000 mark is the resistance of the trend line because it has came down below the trend line. Let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see it. You see how it broke down the trend line and came down. This was a support a supposed to test around 43,000, but it broke down below the support level of the trend line, which then turned to the resistance level. So this is not a support anymore until it gets above it. So for it to get above it, if we click zoom and we zoom in a little bit, it has to first get above these zones around 44,000 and it has to pass the $45,000 level of the trend line. That's the thing it has to pass, the resistance level. So once it passes 45, the next one is around 46, 847. But that's that's very correct that he said 45 and mark, and then it's only $3,000 away. So that looks good to me. But quote, Bitcoin looks great here. Not much in terms of resistance until 45,000. Expecting upside across the board. 
in the coming days as long as the green region is held, which I expect it to be. This is what he quoted, and this is what he wrote down, and, you know, he did a technical analysis, as you guys can see. Come down like this and go up. But still, if he had the resistance of the trend line drone, then that would have been around there to hit the resistance of the trend line around here. As you guys can see, first resistance level and breakdown point. And that's when he has 45,000. Either way you do your technical analysis, you would come to the exact point anyways. But analyst then says that XRP has been holding up stronger than the leading crypto asset by market cap and could be ready to finally surge upwards. And he said, while Bitcoin recently swept our wick low at 42,000 and Ethereum dumped even further below its own, XRP has held up incredibly well through this correction and has not gotten close to its own wick lows. Path of least resistance seems to be up. All eyes may be on XRP soon. And this is what he said. And he was saying that it would go up to 20 to $30 target. And he says his expectations is we up. Path of least resistance is a way of saying sellers seem exhausted. And that makes complete sense. But you guys can see. Let me show you guys. This is a wick that I made in Bitcoin. And it's currently up. 7% from it. And if we go take a look at XRP, this is the wick that I made at 69 cents, but this is the one over here, 65 cents. And it's been currently up, it's up 15% already. Well, technically 16.46%, and the whole time it was up 54%, well, 55. So that's what I'm saying, guys. It's a difference in XRP and Bitcoin retracement, and even when they go to the bullish momentum and keep going up when the price go crazy to the upside it's a little different xrp has already been up 55 percent and then we trace back take a look at the charts here see how it was up 55 percent and how low did it come down came down 24.88 percent see it follows bitcoin to a certain extent but not every time but the fact is that xrp is the last to moon and all the cryptos and also, what's the biggest thing holding it is the lawsuit going on with the SEC. Which we'll take a look at and I'll play you guys this clip and let me know what you guys think of legal briefs in the comments below. If discovery cutoff ends February 28th and the judge enters a briefing schedule which takes five months, we are at the end of July before the judge even gets the case to make a decision. And the decision is going to take some time and that puts us out to August, September 2022. So as you guys seen, he said that he expects it to end around September or August of this year, 2022. But that's if, if things are getting pushed further, then it can be by the end of December of this year. But you know, if things go on time and nothing gets pushed further, then we can see an earlier around June. That's what I'm expecting. Or it can even be earlier than that. But as always, if it comes earlier and we find something, a great deal that Ripple embarrasses SEC, that's the main thing they don't want to do, guys. SEC does not want to lose a case, and that's the main reason they're pushing it. It doesn't matter if they're right or wrong. It's because they want to be credible to the extent that they're, first of all, a department agency, a governmental agency, which they're trying to do. What is their name? Intel. Securities and Exchange Commission. So what they're supposed to do is find the securities and regulate where regulation needs to be happening. But they are not doing the right job and they have not been doing the correct way of matters in a long, long time since I've even seen it. So they don't want to lose in a public view because if they come up with another case and they lose to Ripple and they're trying to sue something else or another company, then they're going to have to provide more and more proof of what they're doing or what they're saying. And are they going to people are going to be more skeptical about the SEC's jobs of handling things such as securities. So it's going to matter to how they represent themselves in a public standing before they even, you know, bring up the case to a loss. And because I'm sure they already knew they would have lost a long time ago, but they got to delay it to find more evidence just to be like, hey guys, we found a little bit here. So let's delay it a little more. And we found a little bit here. Let's delay it a little more. But that's just how things are, especially in the courtroom. With that being said, guys, I wanted to give you guys with this note and let me know what you guys think in the comment below. Keep subscribing, tell a friend, tell a family member. We're at 320. Last time I checked, let's keep going, guys. The next aim, next goal is 1,000. But let's keep going. God bless you guys.
Subscribe if you guys are new or recurring viewers to this channel so you can be notified every single time I post information pack videos, just like the one you're watching right now. By that being said, share this video with anybody you know, anyone that's interested in the financial markets, and anyone that wants to be financially successful, financially thrive, instead of just being financially stable. But by that being said, I'm you all with your exchange. I'm the crypto caressor, the forex finesse, the stock successor. God bless you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.